This light that you see here in the closet, I'm actually in a closet here, doesn't work. But the problem is not the bulb, the CFL bulb. I want to show you what is the problem. This is the switch here in the wall and turn on and off doesn't work. So there is some problem here and we didn't figure out what is the problem. There are a couple of uh, things that can be a problem. One of them, there is disconnection in, any pla in some places, but I'll always check it if there is no disconnection. The other problem is the switch. This switch looks innocent and you might think it will work forever, but I want to show you that this switch is actually not working. Let me show you how I'm testing it. I'm using this instrument, the voltmeter, I put it on voltmeter 200 AC volt and I want to check to see if this switch is operated properly. Let me show how I'm doing it. So the first thing I will shut it down and I will push it. You see I'm actually touching the metal because be careful not to touch it here because there's voltage here. Okay, and I'm touching it from the metal. It's actually grounded. Okay. After I took it out, I want to check the volt. Okay, what I'm going to do now, I'm going to test the voltage to see if this switch works properly. That's very important. So you can see a two point. This one point and this second point. That's one. It, it's the hot. Okay. And here is the switch. When I turn it on like that. It's actually shorted in this point, short to this point. So what you have voltage here is going to be the same here in this point. Okay, now what I'm doing here, when I shut it down, okay, I need to see now between the ground, okay, that's the metal, that is the ground, to the hot should be 120. Okay. As you can see, it's 125. Look what I did between the ground and the hut. 124. Okay, that's okay. Now what should I get now? Because the switch is off between the ground, which is the metal. Okay, to this point here, I have to get zero. And what I have is really zero. Okay. Now when I turn the switch on, the voltage you have here should appear in this point because this switch is just actually close it, close the circuit. So what I'm doing now, I'm actually test the voltage between that point to here. It should be 120. And if I test it here, what you see here, it's zero. Here, it's 120, but here it's zero. That meaning that this which is not operate properly because the voltage here is zero. It doesn't really short it. And that means the only way to fix it is actually to remove this switch, okay? And replace it with a new switch. And that's what I want to show you how I'm doing it. But the first thing you have to shut down electricity from the switchboard. We're going to shut it down first. We should never work under power. So this is a three-way switch that I have for a long time and I never use. And I will use it here to replace the two-way switch. And we're going to remove the switch. Remember, we just use the shutdown. So the first thing here, let's cut it. Let them cut it. And the ground cut it also. And this switch, I want to show you what is wrong with this switch that I have here. I want to compare between the new switch and the old one. Let me show you. Okay, so what we can see, we can see here two switch here. That is the old one and that is the new one. Now both of them are on off position, which means it's off. So we check the resistance should be infinite and here he is the here is the resistance we checked and you can see 
it would stay the same, which is, this is meaning infinite. Put here, that's meaning infinite resistance. Now I put this one on and this one on, and look what happens. This stay infinite, but this one is zero. So that proves that this stupid switch, sorry about that, is not working. And it should go to the garbage. And this is the one I'm going to replace, let me show you how. So this is the hump here. What I'm going to do, I'm going to actually just remove a piece of it. Probably one and a half inch or so. Okay. This is the hump. And this wire is going to the light, or to the bulb. Try to take the same side. Okay, when you remove it, you, don't, you should never hurt this uh, exposed wire. Okay, and you can use actually a utility knife. A lot of time people use a utility knife, but it's not really needed if you can using these tools for it. So look at this here, this is black, that's the hot, and this is always going to the light. So if I turn it on, that's on, and that's off. Now what I should do, I should take this wire, see what I'm doing here, I just put it like that and I just take a loop. Okay. I make almost complete loop, put it here on a screw. Okay, make it a little bit even more. Okay, so I put it here where is the screw. I force it in. And you can see because it's going with the clock. So it has to go with the clock and I'm going to clog it strongly using a Phillips screwdriver and close it strong as you can. That's it. Now this is the second wire I'm going to put here. I'm going to use the same thing. I'm going to make a loop with the clock. Okay. And this loop That's it. It's a little bit more exposure. You should not actually make it to be exposed, but it's okay. Because you don't want it to touch the ground. Okay? Now the ground is very important to connect. Okay? The ground is usually connect here to, to the green here. So I'm using the server porch. Taking here, open it, take these wires, put it here, and I will use these tools here. You cannot see what I'm doing here. So the ground is here. I put here the wire. Okay, now I'm just going to strongly close the screw here. Press it inside, it will go and take it inside. Sometimes it's taking difficult, but you have to press it in. And that's it, it's in. Okay, so let me show you from here. So now what happened is I just take this one and just close it.
So we turn on electricity and now what's left to do is just test to see if it's work. And it's working, no problem. That's the way it looks after I put the cover. And that's it.